Hey Scrappers, it's Terry again. Y'all are going to get so tired of me making videos, right? I hope not. Okay, anyways, um, the girl that I had for my um, uh, secret squirrel partner this month was Valerie Mays Tafoya. And um, she got her box today. And I have to tell you guys, this is the most fun part. Well, finding out what your girl, your partner likes, because they don't know, you don't know who has you. It's all a secret. It's a top secret thing. And so you have to, in the, in the month while you're creating the box, you have to figure out based on answers to questions and stuff like that, what their, you know, their style is, what they like and what they don't like. Let me tell you how tough it was for me and this one. This girl likes every color combination. Valerie likes every color combination except pink. And now that's not a combination, right? But it, she does not like pink. Everything in my house, every scrapbooking element I have is pink. I had such a tough time. But once I got started, and with the help of Tim Holtz, because he doesn't have a lot of pink stuff in his paper stash, and then once I got going, I was okay. But it was a, it was tough at first. I have to tell you, Valerie. But when she opened up her box that had all of her goodies in it, I have to tell you something else too. That travel theme box that I made, it was bound for the trash, girl. Because when I first started making it, it was I, I just wasn't feeling it. I'm sorry, I wasn't feeling it. It was making me crazy. It was making me stupid crazy. So I had to step away from it and put it up. And I have a video on it. Um, if you, any of y'all want to go and take a look at it, I have a video on it. But anyways, in the hurry of making, uh, packing up her box, because that's a hectic day when you're packing up the box. Because I wait till the last minute to do every damn thing. Um, you're packing up the box and making sure that everything fits in there right so it doesn't break. Um, I forgot a couple of things. Okay, this is... A button jar that I made for her, a button bottle that I made for her. I couldn't show, um, I couldn't do a video on it before because um, it had her name on it. So yeah, I, I thought it turned out really cute, right? So this is her button jar. She goes by Val, and I put some roses, some I am roses on there. I put some lace and some pearl trim at the top. I um, used uh, glossy accents to put the little buttons on the side some Prima Bling, and some more buttons on this side. I thought it turned out really cute, right? I hope you like it, Valerie. I also have her a swivel clasp charm, but I have it hanging over here on my, my dress form, so I didn't get it down for the video, so I'm not going to show you. It's just going to be a surprise whenever you get it. So I hope you like it, Valerie, and I can't tell you, I just cannot tell you enough times Thank you so much for liking the box. It was so tough. And when you said you were going to put your Mardi Gras stuff in it, I just almost started crying when I was watching the video. So, girl, I hope you like your button jar, too. And I hope that um, you get some use out of the buttons. There's vintage buttons in there. And um, I didn't want to put anything on top, you know, because then it's hard to get it open and you have to be careful if you smush flowers or stuff. So, anyways, Valerie, I hope you like it. And I'll put this in the mail on Friday. Okay, scrappers, y'all take care. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.